Now, this video is targeting uh, more of the advanced students in biology, where we, they're going to talk about these four big ideas in biology, especially the AP students. And throughout the year, what we're going to be trying to do is we're trying to connect each of the topics that we learn to these big ideas. Now, there's a lot of overlap along topics that you're going to talk about something that actually overlaps with all of the other big ideas. And in fact, that's what you have to try to do. You have to try to connect everything you've learned to each of these big ideas. Because what you've learned about this one can also connect to that one and so forth. But basically, these are four major areas of study or major aspects of biology, which are going to be repeated throughout the year. And as we go through the topics, you're going to try to make connections from that topic to each one of these big ideas. The first big idea is the, illusion, the idea of evolution and inheritance. The idea that life evolves over time and that there are procedures and mechanisms by which that happens and that explains everything else in biology that explains the form and function of life it explains the relationships that exist in life all the things that life does and all the ways that life does the things that it does it explains the unity that exists in life the diversity that exists in life it explains life and so this is maybe the most important of the big ideas the other one is the idea of orbiter matter energy and regulation that life must maintain this internal balance that it must for that purpose use energy and matter from the environment in order to accomplish this and to and to do so it has particular mechanisms which are all based on order and that this is visible at all levels of biology that the ecosystem has mechanisms that the populations have mechanisms and that uh, organisms and parts of the organisms all interact to make sure things happen so we're going to talk about things like photosynthesis and cell respiration, the parts of the cell, growth, development, cell division, uh, ecology. All of this is tied in with the idea of matter and energy circling in the environment and, and all in the process, in an attempt to regulate the order that exists in life. So a lot of the topics that we have in the year will tie in with this one. The other one is the idea of communication in life and that cells talk to other cells, that their, their cells talk to other parts within the cell, that organisms talk to other organisms, that, that information gets passed across generations through things like genetics, that uh, nerve impulses, uh, biochemical impulses, DNA uh, science, uh, protein synthesis, uh, chromosomal inheritance, Mendelian genetics, all of these will, think, uh, will be aspects that we will discuss and within the concept of the communication idea, the idea that information in biology is crucial. And so how is this information passed on at the molecular, cellular, organism, population level, and even across time through processes like evolution and so forth? We're also going to have to talk about interaction and complexity in life. We're going to talk about how, how at different levels... There's interactions that, that explain why life is the way it is and how the complexity and simplicity of life explains the way that life does the way the things that it does. Of course, tied in with all the other big ideas. But it's the idea of how everything ties in together, how everything interacts with each other, and how the complexity of a system explains how that system interacts with other systems. Sounds a lot of mumbo jumbo right now, but as we go through the year, you will start seeing the big picture and you will paint this picture of biology where everything in, ties in together. So it's a different way of teaching biology where you teach conceptually and by practice rather than teaching it each topic one at a time. So we'll talk, for example, about you know internal communication and we'll see several examples of that throughout the entire topics of biology as opposed to, to the classical way where a typical biology class is taught sequentially. And... And it will be interesting uh, to, to be in a class like that, I think, because it will challenge us to think and to make uh, connections between the subjects. And so, very cool. I hope you enjoy the year and we get ready to learn biology.